Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the channel. Today we're talking about DMZ and future upgrades as more and more information comes out about what could be added. I have some questions on my own of what I think would make the game better. Now before I get into that, I want to make a very controversial statement. Developers, if you're listening, please leave the AI level the way they are. The fact that the AI can shoot you from 500 feet away if they see you from 500 feet away, um, it just adds a different element, a different feel to the game. If those AI were pushover, then the higher skilled players would just log in, complete their quest, kill younger or lower skilled players, and not have to worry about the environment, not have to worry about AI. So to me, you, you leave it the way it is. That way we don't run out of quests. We don't run out of, excuse me, we don't run out of content. We don't run out of things to do. We just it's it's a struggle. That's what it's supposed to be like. It's fun, it's exciting, it adds a whole new level of gameplay to it. And uh, I'm really happy to have DMZ involved. I was not having this much fun with Call of Duty Cold War. It was just repetitive. I didn't do the campaign, so you just basically, we're going to go shoot each other tonight. Um, with DMZ, with Warzone, it adds a different thing every time you play the game, and I love it. It has taken over my life. You've heard me say that many times before. I'll say it again. And when I get tired of doing DMZ, I can do Warzone, or I can go do the regular old multiplayer game. So... That being said, I have thought about a few things that are coming up that I hope will be part of the game, or if a developer is listening, we can find out if they are part of the game, because it will just make the game better, in my opinion. You don't have to agree with me, but if you listen, let me know what you think in the comment section. I would greatly appreciate it, and here we go. Will there be a workbench so I can upgrade my gun? I don't know. I just think it would be a really cool thing that if I found an attachment, if I, if I found... Let's just say a 30 round clip or if I found a different optical, can I put that on my gun? Can I go to a crafting bench or a workbench of some sort and upgrade my gun? That would be amazing for DMZ. Two, will there be any in-game attachments that I can add to my gun to make it better? I think I just said that, but again, if I could add some kind of in-game attachment, if I go in with an M4 or if I go in with a regular AK-74U, and I shoot a heavily armed guard with the gun M4. Can I upgrade that? Can I take it somewhere and upgrade that? Even if that's somewhere surrounded by killer AI, it will just be cool to be able to do that. Three, will I be able to change the radicals, reticles on my optics? I don't know. That was one thing in Cold War that I liked. I had a certain reticle that I liked, and it would be nice to be able to either change it or at least see... Um, during the firing range, at least see what that reticle can do before I have to equip the gun. Yeah, I know I can equip the optic and I'll see the reticle then, but that takes up valuable time. It'd be nice if I could just scroll over it and it would already be in the actual picture that they show you so I can say, nope, I don't like that one. I don't have to install it. Just a question right there. Um, number, let's see here, four. Will there be skill matching for DMZ groups? Um, they may already do this, I don't know, but I get tired of logging in with level 1s or level 10s and their kids and they're talking about, hey, let's go take over this stronghold at the airport. No, you're not going to do that with your little AK-74U that you killed or you brought in with you with no attachments to it. It's not going to happen. You have one plate. You clearly don't know. You haven't played the game long enough. It's annoying. If they could make it to where you could level match some of the players skill by skill level by level so groups are i don't want to say they're not balanced but at least they're fair sometimes when you got a 250 and you got a level 10 and he doesn't know the game or he's 11 years old it's just not even worth it i'd rather run off and do something by myself speaking of that number five is there a way that i can be a part of a group and then leave the group and actually do my own quests let's say i get a group of knuckleheads and they're not responding I'm forced to either go do my own thing, but we only have one set of group quests that we can do. So if I open a quest, they can't do anything. If they open a quest, I can't do anything. If they can make it to where I could leave the group that I logged in with because they're a bunch of knuckleheads, that would be amazing. Six, will there be an LFG slash blah, blah, blah added to the game? If there was something like a lobby where I could do type in LFG looking for chemist group and then only people who are looking to kill the chemist could actually select that and we could all log in together that would be amazing it would make the game that much better i don't have to say hey are you guys working on anything and they're like i don't have anything to do either i'm just here to play 
It would make the game so much better if you would make it where there was an LFG and then whatever you're looking for, lobby. Number seven, will there be a marketplace? Will there be a marketplace to where if I, let's say, found a gun or I had a lot of money, I could buy a gun or I could sell a gun? That would make the game so much better. I know there is a buy station and they, they give you the guns that are in there, but no, I'm saying let's say I went in there and I already have the M13B, but I want to go kill the canvas and get it. Can I sell it and get cash is what I want to know. Can I go to a marketplace and put it up for sale and then someone outside of DMZ can say, hey, I need this gun. I need to unlock the gun. I can just go buy it and I don't even have to go into DMZ. Can you do that? Number eight. Can I go into DMZ to purposely get gear that can be used outside of DMZ? To me, that would make this so much more enjoyable to where, okay, I got a certain gun that I want to get, or I want to have a three-tier um, vest. I can go get one in DMZ, exfil with it, and guess what? I can use it in all the other, I can use it in Warzone right off the bat. Uh, if there's a special rifle that's in DMZ, like the one, the... Um, LMG that the Juggernaut drops. I can go into DMZ, get that, and now I can use that across all platforms, not just in DMZ. To me, that will make the game so much more enjoyable. It will make DMZ so much more valuable because I can go in there and get gear that you know I may not have access to in case that I want to buy a battle pass. So that's a question for the developers. Number nine. What are they going to do with Building 21? To me, Building 21 was a great idea. They could take any kind of baddie, any kind of monster that they can think of, and put them in his own separate room in Building 21 without having to build a whole new environment, a whole new island for us to go conquer. From a, from a developer standpoint, you guys have to keep us fed. I get that. It would be so much easier if you guys could think of a villain and put them in Building 21, and we don't have to have a whole new landscape to traverse through. Just my thoughts, my opinion from playing other games. Building 21, great potential. It's just an instance, hey, so-and-so is in Building 21. It's going to take 21 people to get them. That's three, seven groups of three. You guys have to find a group of seven or three, whatever, seven groups of three, and go in there and kill him before this time is over. You know, anything you could think of could be placed in Building 21. So my question is, again, will they come up with some kind of New villain from Building 21 besides Belkius or whatever guy that's in there now. So those are just 10 questions that came to my mind. I'm sure uh, you guys have questions of your own. If you like what you heard, hit the like button. Consider subscribing. It does help out the channel. Helps me get recognized. And more importantly, give me your, your feedback. Give me some comments at the bottom. Just to let me know, hey, I agree with your questions. That would make DMZ better. No, I don't agree with your questions. DMZ is already great the way it is. I like what developers are doing. Any way it goes, I think we all benefit from asking questions and sharing information with each other. So I want to thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And on that note, I will see you in the next video. You guys going for a kill contract right now? Look. <laughs> there was two of them. The other one ran. Who's down? Come on, we need to get. He went to the uh, abstraction. He he going to. There was another one. Run. Grenade. Somebody. Uh, never mind. That guy was like, you